Hello, li- Shut up, Dibbler. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Discworld 2. It has been a long time. And I just want to check that we've got the- um, A sort of rest home for the dead. I can't remember what we were doing. I think we've just been- we've kind of gone round. We've been to the Fool's Guild and the shop and the docks, I think. I say that, I can't actually remember. And I think I might not have been to the docks now. And I just want to... Subtitles. Okay, subtitles are on. Just when he said popcorn, he didn't, it didn't pop up, so I was just slightly confused. Um, yes, it's been a while, so I don't, can't remember exactly what we've done. I know we went to the sewers and we've got some... I'm going to have to... Hello! It's Death of Rats! Oh, hello. And what in the world are you? Death of Rats. Exactly, Death of Rats. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Well, I didn't understand a word of that at all. Sorry. Right. Where's my cursor gone? Okay, here's what we've got. So we've got a, we've got some glitter. Ah, the right of Ashkenter. Ash enter. Right, we need a smell. Some mouse blood. Some sticks. Some ow oh, glitter. Some candles. The way of summoning death. Now, this is Fano Ron. With, with his smell. So this is the infamous foul old Ron. You know, there are some personalities so stunningly odd. So utterly breathtaking. <laughs> They actually transcend the mere physical frame of their owners and stand out as an icon. A banner of meaning with a life all of their own. And then again, there's also hundreds of grubby old street people like this bloke who just make me want to scratch. I can't remember the names. That Henry uh, Coffin and uh, oh, Duck Man, who just has a duck. A vile smell. Ambulatory vile smell. Yes. Yes, well, that's brought some life into my day. Uh, right, uh, let, let's, let's find out about some Millennium Hand and Shrimp. I think it is. Millennium Hand and Shrimp. The buns, the buns, all over the. <laughs> You young spiders, spiders, ah, I told them, put that in your trumpet, millennium hand and shrimp, blow that for a game of trousers. Was there something you wanted? Um, your, your, your smell. Uh, hello. Look, um. Talking. <laughs> I'm good at that. Not making sense, however. Most of the time I, I talk to myself, because it's nice to hear an intelligent person speak. Shut up, Duck. Millennium and Shrimp. You can blow that out of your teapot, and no mistake. I'm as sane as the next man. Listen. I just hope I never meet the next man. <laughs> yes. But I probably will. Knowing this game, yes. Look, um... You were a busy man, I can see that. I've really got behind on me mumbling and shouting out loud quote of the day. Spare a gold piece. Shut up, duck man. I'm busy. Tell a joke. I see the local care in the community scheme is hard at work. Millennium and of course, a really caring community would probably have moved him further downwind. <laughs> right, your smell! What's that cloud hanging over you? Stench. <laughs> That's my special smell, that is. <laughs> it's a first class smell. It's got a life of its own, you know. <laughs> Quite a little personality. You're saying that your smell is Spare so powerful it actually piece, can be sir. seen? Spare a gold piece. Yeah, it likes the boots, you know. Nothing it likes better than to settle down with a good old boot. Now, 
if you'll excuse me, I've got to continue with my job as resident radio man in this marvellous strip theatre that is Ank Morpork. Right, okay. Boots! Those... those are boots you're cooking, aren't they? Prime boots with... Uh, with stench attached. They smell like shoes, you know. Really? What a Got surprise. A lots of boots to maintain a real fine stink, you know. Get off. Spare There's a gold for piece, everyone. Sir. Spare a gold piece. Spiders. Spiders. Mumble, 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 mumble. Sticking like sticky paper and lying. Millennium hand and shrimp. Lying. You know, some might say that this chap lacks a firm grasp upon reality. Or any rasp. Yeah, bugger him. Bugger him all. My personal theory is that he has a very firm grasp upon reality. It's simply not a reality the rest of us have ever met before. <laughs> that, that also works. Right. Hello. Look, I'm afraid I have to be somewhere else. Spare a ear. Dame, forgotten what I was asking now. Mary says, I think Henry Coffin is a professional non attendee, i.e., you pay him not to turn up at your parties. I think, I think that might be the case. Or is that one of the other beggars? I can't remember. Now look! <laughs> Never mind. Right. Question. Do you serve any useful purpose at all? <laughs> yes, yes, mate. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a social figure. I am. <laughs> I, uh, I get non-invited to all the best functions in the city. My Discord lore is still strong. What do you mean, non-invited? <coughs> oh, you know, they, they sends me the address and uh, they pays me money not to turn up. I can't understand why myself. <coughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that, go. No, oh, no, 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 don't rub it off. It only works in deeper into the cloth. Ew. <coughs> Ew. I'd probably have more to say, but I'm afraid I keep being distracted by this bloody dreadful smell. I'm trying to work dealing with him. Sorry, can't stay and chat all day. Must be off. Have we got any particular items? Uh, well, probably. The bellows. Can I use the bellows? That doesn't need any air. No. Incense, mallet. An old clay pot. Probably not. I wonder what that was used for. <laughs> I'm either evil or a point of like adventure character because I've just stolen a pot from some beggars. Spare a gold piece, sir. Spare a gold piece. Uh, if memory of Duckman is the smartest member of the beggars, and and he doesn't actually realise there's a duck on his head. A whole gold piece? Most people don't earn that in a month. Well. The streets are swarming with beggars, sir. So I just thought I'd establish myself in a different niche market. You know, beggar to the upper gentry. Oh, really? So, as I say, sir, any gold pieces to spare? Perhaps raw bullion? Shares, futures, that sort of thing? 
Oh, stop it. And go and do something about that duck. What duck? What duck? Hey! You wouldn't say there's anything in the slightest bit unusual in your appearance at all? No? Why? Nothing that, say, when viewed in a mirror might give you pause for thought. The what? What's a mirror, sir? Ah, <laughs> we may, in fact, have reached the root of the problem. However, it's a silly problem, and so I'm suddenly going to stop talking to you. <laughs> Right, okay, uh, thought. Nah, don't think I really want to handle this one. Correspondence would be welcomed. Right, so we haven't got a mirror to deal see with. See you later! Him. Right. Now I see a place that might be a certain amount of use. So Gimlet's is a dwarf bar, dwarf delicatessen, that sells rats. So. Aha, a menu. I wonder what they serve here. Rat. So. That means they might uh, you might have some mouse blood for us or some equivalent. Let's see what we have here. Rodent in a bun, rodent in a bag, live rodent on brochette, and stunned rodent cold on blur prepared in a white wine sauce with shallots, truffles, and small potatoes. Oh damn! They only served that one on alternate Tuesdays. Let's go and talk to Gimlet. Hey there, sir. Hey there. What can I cook for you? We got the meals for one and all. A fixed price menu and everything come with a pickle. Ooh. I don't like pickle. What's on the menu? Oh, uh, mice, sir. Mostly mice. Ethnic dwarf cuisine, sir. I got them baked, I got them glazed, I even got them on a stick. Mice? You mean you're dishing out rodents? Not just any old mice, sir. Big, fat ones. Prime squeakers, sir. Good pink noses. No finer in Ankh-Mor Park. What makes you say that? Operation of the jaw. Tongue and vocal cords, <laughs> sir. And then the words just fly out. Oh, sorry. You meant the food. Very select rodents, sir. And hygienically prepared, sir. Rodents hygienically prepared? How? I always wash my hands after touching them, sir. Hey. Fair enough. Can't say fairer than that. A rodent bar. How lovely. Prime eaten, sir. Volovons <sighs> and rat tatui. Fresh caught at the table, sir. And do you cook them? Cook? <laughs> and ruin the flavor? Hmm. This may sound a daft question, but don't you have anything that isn't rodents? The bun? Uh, we do have rocks. Rocks? Ah, uh, for trolls. Yeah, granite, quartz, some prime cuts of obsidian, fresh today from the quarry for my troll customers. Even some candy rock for afters. I know it's not mice, but, well, he seemed wise to spread my clientele, sir. Go for the troll dollar, that sort of thing. Trolling for more customers? Hey. That's the one. Right then, one extra rare mouse burger. Right, sir. Hey, I think I can hear one of the little squeakers now. <laughs> there you are, sir. Extra rare. Well, it seems quite common, actually. Mousey! Let's have another chat with him. I might try and see if I can get a rock. That might be relevant, because that's now an option. Um, possibly. 
raw mice au naturel. Why is it I have such a sense of foreboding and dread? Candy rock, that's right, sir. It's like a toffee for trolls. Well, very chewy toffee for trolls. It might have a bit too much mica in it. The only problem is that it can make their teeth fall out. Bad for them, you see, sir. But I tell a lie, because we're out of it at the moment. Someone ate all the wheels of the delivery vehicle. Happens about once a week, that does. Must be a a la carte menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's enough of this conversation for me. Oh, that was awful. I love it. I can't get in there. I could grab a chili. Oh, or I could steal all of the chili. In fact, can't talk to you. Oh. Can I talk to you? No, can't talk to the twelve either. Okay. Right, we are exploring the shades. Costume. Can we use the pot on the vast map? I can't put that in. Hmm. Right, okay. Spare a gold piece, I don't know what we're doing to do, going to be able to do next with that, so I'm just going to. Oh, this looks like. I think this is a bar, the troll's what? head. Walk around here carrying a troll's head? I mean, you're not going to interrupt with that. He lied. Barkeeper, I'll have a pint of Winkle's extra flatulent, my good man. Uh, uh, uh? Down here, oi! I said I'll have. Oi, come back here! Don't you know who I am? I am Kassenan, uh. the second greatest lover who ever lived, and the ladder salesman extraordinaire. <laughs> Come back, 